You talk about her assists a lot, Rebecca. Ben Lober has done an unbelievable job tracking this all season and feeding us this information. Just how many assists come in transition for Caitlin? Ben on the Iowa staff, their video guy, and he just keeps track of this. And it's, it's just incredible, the get-ahead passer that she is. Reese misses both. A falter right on cue gets to nine. Down on Amaya Battle. Met at the rim beautifully. Clark getting it ahead. The finish, triple doubles, and six on the season. Is there anything 22 can't do? Unable to finish. Little momentum for Iowa. Clark to a falter. A falter late. Of seven since, remember, she also injured her ankle. Here's Clark. Will she pull up? Finding a falter who lays it in. Caitlin Clark just manipulates everyone as she comes down the floor. No, she doesn't want to attack the shot blocker. Hesitation and delivers the basketball. Taylor three off the inbound play. Ball scatters around. Picked up by Clark. Here's Caitlin. Nice look inside and an easy layup. He just can't put it on. Why don't you take a look at this last transition play. Everyone has got their eyes focused on Clay Caitlin Clark. What does that do? It leaves the Fulter open for the run. Good balance and good. Martin, four points, eight rebounds, and Ohio State coughs it up again. Clark kicks it deep in the corner. And I want you to take a look at Caitlin Clark. Once again, the defense collapsing on Clark. Who does that leave? Gabby Marshall open there in the corner. Gets her feet set. The follow through good. And that's flash. Gabby Marshall. An unrelenting schedule. None of what you're seeing tonight should surprise you because she's been doing it all season. Oh, what a pass. Clark to O'Grady for the finish. She was making threes early, passing to teammates early. Thing that's not like the other. The long get-ahead pass, just best get-ahead passer since Suber. You're seeing her in 22 in white, and she just has her eyes up, always lead. I've been saying in the second half with her shooting, and I think the pace of the game, when it's been played fast, that is when Iowa has been out their best. Throws it away. Clark finding a full turn. Anything boring in a basketball game. Hits, twisting, can't finish, and Martin the rebound for Iowa. Here is Clark flicking it ahead. Stokey turns. Good movement here. Martin's three is good. Iowa can thrive in transition. Caitlin Clark's head always up. Outstanding with the get ahead, the passing. Four players touch it before getting the Edwards the deep catch, did not finish it. Clark finds Stolke beautifully, and Stolke lays it. Is now 0 for 4 from 3. Look at the velocity on this pass, Ryan. It reminds me of watching NBA games. Those guys fire the ball through short window. Here comes Clark. Clark finds the cutter. What a look. The video. Her first three. And then here's that video game vision for you, Ryan Rucco. Stokey with the two. Brady and Arnold both playing with four fouls. And a knock away from Clark. Here comes Clark in transition. Bounces. Stokey able to finish. They played together for eight years. They've had each other's backs in that sacrifice from Camilo Cardoso. Oh, what a dish from Clark. And the way she leads her teammates in full speed with perfectly placed passes. Second three throw off the mark. Four remains at five. Stalky, front court. She's a rim runner. Nice for Molly Davis. Iowa State leads the country in scoring for a reason. Look at that pinpoint pass in transition. Stalky with the footwork at the end. This is how the Hawkeyes want to play. You have got to get back in transition defense. And in particular with Ohio State, when they put on that full court pressure, the Hawkeyes understand how to battle. And that one blocked as Harris couldn't get to the basket. Rim runner, Stokey again, nice down. Caitlin Clark, but her vision is what is extraordinary. Pinpoint pass once again to Stokey on the run. She, as O'Grady is on the run here in transition once again. Hannah Stokey and her sophomore. Nehemiah Holloway, 
trying to make something happen, and it winds up being a turnover. Clark whipping it down low. Molly Davis all alone. Can't really double team her because she's got teammates who can score too, but her court vision is what's impressive. You it's, the, it's the rip your heart out mentality yes. that Tarazi had, so I can see that as well. Field on there. Battle doesn't get the roll, and here comes Clark chasing that triple double. Corner three, Marshall. Oh, that's great. Becker is unable to connect with Edwards there. Here is Clark. Clark zipping into the paint, feeds the corner a falter. Martin back to a falter. Step back three is good. Caitlin Clark is an elite get ahead passer. On the other side of the mid-court line, a falter, beautiful finish through contact. That's four assists in this first quarter. I mean, her eyes are all always up, tongue out, assessing the situation, and just, again, the get-ahead pass from the other side of mid -court. Rebound, Martin, not a Clark. Down court to Stalky, catches, lays it up with the left hand. Olin. Gives it up. Stolke comes up with a steal. Here is Clark. Clark. Oh my goodness, what a pass for the bucket and the foul. And that long rebound winds up with Clark. And to your point, Julian, it's the all phases of the game for Clark. That are higher. Recognizing, turning, can't get it to go. And the rebound winds up with Clark. Between the legs, cross court. Between these two powers in the Big Ten Conference and in college basketball, Brock's coughing up again. Here comes Caitlin. Martin steps into a J. But the way she just takes such deep threes, mm -hmm. that's where I see Steph in her game. And that's the separator, right? We haven't seen that in the women's college game. Three on the way. Iowa, you've got to be able to get back and transition defense, but how about this? assist as well just the around the whole does the fall for Sonano another opportunity for Iowa down the floor quickly you know the Big Ten tournament's gonna be insane and off the mark long rebound winds up with Davis here comes Iowa try to get a season that might fall tonight Clark behind the back getting it to Marshall that single digits battle off the back iron another rebound and behind the back by Clark Stokey wasn't quite ready for that pass. hands you better not have the butterfingers as they like to say and you see that intensity in Clark's face and just a good job here tracking down the board but she fakes her teammates out sometimes Addy with the terrific defense at the rim here comes Clark wanted to get it inside higher spinning leaving it short another rebound for Clark she's got six of them you see some bumping here I think that's why uh, Caitlin Clark here just so good at getting the basketball up the floor and Minnesota that's able to knock down threes consistently throughout the season and she's been hunting shots moving forward though she wants of course Caitlin to keep doing Caitlin things but other players stepping up only helps her you don't bring that vaunted 2-2-1 full court pressure 16 foot jumper off the mark Clark with the rebound outlet pass Gabby Marshall in the front court goes inside Sheldon with all five points for the Buckeyes, but Ohio State turns it over. Outlet pass, Stolke, run, running again. Tied up by Sheldon with the penetrating the paint, finding Stolke over the top, and the Brady is up. Clark starting to feel it. Cross court in front. Stolke and a trap and a steal. Martin just plucks it out of the air. Clark looking. Clark needs three to tie pistol feet to work because she gets to the line often. 63% free throw shooter, Stolke, nice catch. Baseline jumper, Marshall. McMahon. Clark with a rebound. That one deflected. Picked up by Stolke. Nice bounce pass. Stolke! Johnson in the corner. Can't hit. Clark the rebound. Iowa running. A falter. 
unable to see in, short on a three. Long rebound, Fearbach. Clark with space. Clark bounces, Stolke gets denied by Fish. She is, Rebecca. That is what she does. What a time, Clark and Stolke misses. Bree Hall gives South Carolina a 10 point lead. Here's a Falter diving in. Here's 7.20 to go in the fourth. Johnson can't bank it in. There's a stop from Iowa. Clark zips it ahead for Wiley. There's the games you mentioned as you see this, like against most guard defenders, that's getting through. Miley's a full wow. Wiley. She can dunk a basketball. Able to get up there and deflect, but those other teams, Ryan, didn't have the... Johnson can't hit the three. A fault of the rebound. Here comes Clark with pace. Oh, what a feed. Clark to Martin. She does get the roll. Huge three there for the freshman Williams. A Folter running the other way, lays it in. Clark again with the get-ahead pass, and Kim Mulkey. Initially by Martin, Morrow's jumper, no, and Iowa will live with that shot. Martin running the floor, stops, lays, can't hit. Johnson, back iron, no, and O'Grady the rebound. Reese has two fouls, Clark gets it ahead, a Folter can't lay it in, yes! And here comes LSU. Clark to Martin, gets denied, and at last hit her. Nice cut from Johnson and fine from Reese. Defense for them in the first half. Here's Martin running the floor and lays it in. On the just about feet on that jumper, but it's also her get ahead passing and how she sees the floor and can deliver the basketball. Newell unable to grab it. Here comes Clark in transition. Clark tosses cross court, Marshall's three. Off the mark. Jade will take. No. Rebound Clark. Clark flings it ahead. A falter. What a grab. Can't flip it in. Hey, Arnold short on that one. Has the ball in her hands here. Semi transition. Clark bounces. Marshall. Nice Brady long two. Uh huh. Clark the rebound. Flings it down the floor. O'Grady. Then throws it away. Shade left alone. Can't hit the three. Clark the rebound. Clark bounces beautifully, a falter, unable to, to grab the rebound. Three bodies on the floor, it's a four on three for Iowa. Stolke gets fouled by Arnold and that will be her fourth. Hannah Stolke picks up this foul on Arnold because she is running the floor hard. And Clark has the rebound. Up ahead to Feuerbach, who loses it through her finger. Martin with the block on Leonie Kapanis, who wanted a foul. Clark is running, and the pass too far, a little behind. Cannot hit. Another miss by the Lady Lions, and Clark has it. Alec Campbell cannot hesitate. She's a 40% three-point shooter. She's got to shoot a wide open three. Marshall. State. Look at this pass, man. Practically a paint touch. This open opportunity for Gabby Marshall. The defense is so concerned right now about Caitlin Clark getting to the rim that Shea Chesky overhelps. And Gabby Marshall has all day to sit back, relax, watch a movie. And she finds that stroke. It's like riding a bike. Clark with the defense, and Iowa is pouring it on. Fewer by. Clark with the rebound. Eyes up, straight ahead to Stelke. And beautiful defense, air ball, and Clark looking to run. Up ahead to an all alone Marshall. Her first miss from deep. Clark, what a defensive play, Sydney of Falter. Are you kidding me? Talk about all the little things she does. Clark up ahead. Jordan Hobbs, short on the miss. And Clark. Out in transition, if you're the 11 points on the day for the leading score for Penn State. But Stokey quickly up ahead, can't finish, she'll be sure. Lee is Vonley, maybe could have had another foul call there, no whistle on Stokey. Oh, nice delivery, Clark to Martin, Marshall connects. Has accounted for five of them. Oh, what a time, and a falter. Layup is good. Again, Clark had to be careful with those two fouls. Her back in. Oh, what a time. Clark on the... This tournament, but her goals are still alive with her future in that Masters program. Love that, Holly. You saw her father and brother here at the game. In the corner, Marshall on cue. 
dancing through the lane, couldn't finish. Here comes Clark, flings it ahead to a falter, lays it in, plus the foul. Colorado does not have a player in double figures, and Iowa has four. And one of the reasons is because Caitlin Clark is just spoon feeding her teammates. Caitlin Clark, some of the best vision of all time in women's basketball. Addie O'Grady catches that in rhythm. One, two, step, just like that. Ben Hansen gives it right back up. Martin blocking foul. Hansen misfiring from three, and Clark has got it. A falter sets. Hansen, unsuccessful trying to take the charge, and numbers for Iowa. And they take it from long range to perhaps another opportunity, a three on one. And just that's a good candidate for today's uh, mayhem moment brought to you by all states. That's complete chaos on one end this third quarter. Here's Felia. Clark. The day through some contact. She had to work for that. Clark here coming down full steam ahead. Draws three. Leads to a layup for one. One, two, three. No look pass nonetheless. AJ Ediger doing a good job. Getting here, Natalie Potts with her first attempt. Gabby Marshall. One of the shots who can't get the lay in and Stokey rips it away. And that's what Nebraska's gonna have to do. They're gonna have to move a lot. How about Marshall in the last meeting? So over a quarter and a half where she hadn't scored against the Huskers. The court can do that too. The long outlet pass. Teddy Markowski fades away off the one foot. The rebound to Clark. Caitlin Clark across the timeline, feeding Gabby Marshall. And so Stolke. Good hands by Stolke. And Iowa's defense here. Clark whips the pots again. Last three times they've gone to the freshman's way. Clark with the crossover. Marshall's turn. Alan Hake, Minnesota native. What a play. It's getting fizzed and takes advantage. And the one thing Nebraska's done well too is they've stayed poised too. Don't blink. The that Nebraska had and transition buckets is their bread and butter all season long. Want to go to Markowski with Stolke in foul trouble. Clark to Stolke. A women's championship on ABC is presented by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Gets the takeaway. They're going to have numbers here if they push. Marshall, open. Transition three won't go. To hang close through the first half. Clark tracks down the rebound. The push. Sidestep for Taylor McKay. Clark, here they come again. Oh, well, McCabe hesitated. And then the loud. Martin. Foul before. On the run again. Maybe the last few minutes they'll be out there as the lead continues to balloon. Now locked in and ready to go. On the run, Stokey. Lefty on that screen. She hits the big three and then in transition, this is where the Hawkeyes can kill you and Hannah Stokey gets it to Clark. Now she becomes the inbounder, makes it a little easier to get the ball in her hands. Okay. Martin rebounds the miss. Clark head up to find a falter. The jump stop. She said, I just have to believe in how good I really am, and we're starting to see that right now. Clark off the pick. Martin in the trail, walked with it. She's got to shoot to say they're a little bit more versatile. Yep. They're a little bit faster paced with this group as well. Fields way off. Clark rebounds, finds Stokey. 